The automobile industry, especially four-wheelers, is expected to pick up momentum in the coming months as robust demand and easing supply worries lift their prospects. As per analysts, pent-up demand, new launches and increased mobility are among the key factors driving growth. Our outlook on the four-wheeler sector, especially the passenger vehicle sector, remains quite strong or I would say positive. Uh, first of all, the reason for this is the strong order book that has been built up because of the shortage of the semiconductor chips over the last one year. And uh, looking at uh, what companies like Maruti and MNN, uh, also Tata Motors is like, you know, they have been launching, uh, a, you know, a strong portfolio of models, uh, especially with uh, strong technology and, uh, you know, uh, variants in uh, different, different forms like CNG, etc. And uh, we are expecting, uh, you know, a complete uh, revival in the supply issue by the festive season and uh, because of which the order book which for Maruti like particularly for Maruti which is close to uh, about 3 lakh units on the retail side also for Mahindra and Mahindra uh, it's about uh, 1 lakh 80 for its two new launched vehicles you know the which were recently launched uh, so I think that uh, uh, you know th this this uh, is this gives a clear outlook to us that uh, going forward that is in the second half of FI23 as well as in FI24 we can expect a strong performance from the cars and the SUV segment. Patil estimates a 15% year-on-year growth for passenger vehicles in the current fiscal, which could cool down to 12-13% to in FY24 on a high base. Besides, analysts also expect a decent improvement in consolidated profit margins for passenger vehicle makers in FY23 due to the declining prices of key raw materials such as aluminium and steel. Those at GM Financial, for instance, say, owing to a 10% correction in steel prices recently, we expect gross margin to be favorably impacted in Q3 FY23. Our analysis suggests that a 5% correction in the raw material basket will benefit the EPS by 2-15% to for auto and auto ancillary companies. This year, we expect the volume growth will be supported by festive season, normal monsoon and past adoption of EVs. Furthermore, production levels have largely normalized as a result of the reduction in semiconductor shortage and fall in metal and fuel price. For the last two months, aluminum and steel price have corrected 12% and 9% comparing to its preceding quarter. However, inflation and borrowing cost movements are watchful for near term. On the bourses, shares of four-wheeler companies like Maruti, Ashok Leyland and Mahindra & Mahindra have surged up to 50% so far this year as sales improved amid easing, semiconductor shortages and demand pickup. In comparison, the Nifty Auto Index has gained 18%, while the Nifty 50 edged just 1% higher during the period. That said, market mood will be steered by global peers today as investors react to PMI data from across the Western countries. In the primary market, DreamFolk Services IPO will open for subscription. If you like this video, share it and subscribe to Business Standard. For more news, views and insights, log on to www.business-standard.com. Do also follow us on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Telegram and LinkedIn.